Octus. The family says something crashed into their backyard, prompting them to call 911, saying they saw creatures walking around. Our 8 News Now investigators digging into this for weeks now, and tonight, our David Char is with a video you will only see on 8 News Now. David? Brad Denise, sources telling 8 News Now investigators that several agencies believe something landed or crashed. Whether it was non-humans or not, it certainly scared the people living on this property. Now, before we show you that video listen to their call for help there's like an eight foot person beside it and another one's inside and it has big eyes and looking at us and it's so good okay where is this on your property uh, uh in my backyard is it, i swear to god this is not a dog this is actually we, so, there's two, we terrify this. so there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard correct and they're very large they're okay. like eight foot Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know, they're, they look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes, like, okay. like I can't explain it, and big eye mouth. They're tiny eyes, and, and they're not human, they're 100% they're not human. Okay. Well, the 8 News Now investigators obtaining video as officers then responded to the call you just heard. You'll see the officers also saw something in the sky that night, but the big question is, what was it, and is it all connected? It's almost midnight on May 1st, when a Las Vegas Metro Police officer's body cam catches this, something flashing low in the sky. 911 emergency. Minutes later, there's, a, there's like an 8-foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's so good. Someone calls 911, reporting two large figures in their backyard. No, I'm so nervous right now. The 8 News Now investigators obtaining another officer's video as he sent to the Northwest Valley home. I have butterflies, bro. Uh, I really thought it should be stars, and these people say there's aliens in their backyard. By now, it's more than an hour after that bright light. Officers meeting up with the caller and his family. What did you see? It was like a... It was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long, top. I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall in the sky, too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Did you see anything land in your backyard? Or? They see like a big, what they say? They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light? What I saw right now, I do believe in it. Police walk into the backyard to investigate, but Metro blacked out that part of the video because it's considered private property. What's clear? They're taking this call seriously. Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question, but did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Asking others what they yeah. saw. Uh, I would normally discount it as nothing, however, um, seeing as one of my partners said they saw it too, only reason I'm actually investigating it further. That investigation turning up no concrete answers as of Wednesday, whatever or whoever fell into that yard, long gone within minutes. Oh, hey. If, there, if, there's, if there's nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. <laughs> that, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> So yeah, this is quite weird, Brian was saying during as we're watching this story. Now, we've been in, been in contact with the family in that video, and as you heard in that 911 call, they seem very reasonable mm -hmm. and honestly quite scared as you heard them in the call. No, um, it, they don't seem impaired in any way. And whatever crashed by the time that police got there was gone, but sources say that there's really no dispute. Something was in their yard exactly what? We do not know. I mean, it's so interesting. So, like, the metro officer sees something, the neighbor sees something. I mean, so what could it be? Well, we know that there are obviously a lot of military bases around this area. Uh, George Knapp covers a lot of that stuff for us on the 80s Now Investigators. We're showing you drone video from above that area. And we know, of course, Creech not far away, Nellis Air Force Base not far. I checked in with them. They say they are not involved at all, and we are waiting to hear from the Pentagon as well. Hmm. And you talk to these people, it seemed completely legitimate to you and, and